Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are still working outside in this backyard area. I took a week off last week to kind of rest and it was raining like crazy so I wasn't able to work back here. But I was also ordering things and planning for all the things that I wanna do back here. So I've been making so many Amazon orders for all kind of different flowers and plants for the backyard because there is just no way that I'm going to be able to keep up with tons of plants back there. I know me and I'll waste my money. So I'm probably gonna end up putting some artificial plants back there, but I want them to look real. So that's the plan right now, but inside it's a different story. Thanks to today's sponsor, Easy Plant. So Easy Plant offers a variety of plants and pots. There are also discounted collections that are curated by interior designers. And so it makes it easy to choose the perfect plant for your space because they have tags like low light and pet friendly. And one of my favorite things, free shipping in protective packaging that comes right to your doorstep. Okay, the bigger plant is a ficus altissima. It comes with this little paper right here that will tell you how to care for it. It's got a QR code, so it makes it really simple. I got this one in this like matte black container, and this plant is a ZZ plant. Like these things are impossible to kill, and also they're so pretty because their leaves are so shiny. And I got this one in the white. This is the Hartley philodendron. I think that's how you say it, but it can tolerate low light. I got it in this pink planter here for my daughter's room and I'm, it's gonna be hanging from the ceiling. So hopefully it'll grow a lot longer and be more of a hanging plant. But I have not told you guys about the coolest part about Easy Plant and that is their self-watering system. So each planter comes with a little reservoir and you fill it up with water and you just refill it every month. That's it. You don't have to remember a schedule to water it weekly or this one needs more water than that one. It will get the water that it needs from the reservoir, making it super simple and easy to keep your plants alive. So make sure that you guys use my code and shop the link down in the description to find your next plants for your house. Okay, let's see what we're working with out here. It has been raining a lot too so i'm hoping that's gonna help the grass but here is a pool update it's looking so much better there's still just a few more little spots that i need to scrub off but this dolphin vacuum i love it we had a bad storm last night so there's a bunch of leaves and sticks in the pool and so hopefully the skimmer will take care of those all of this rain is also helping these daylilies here. I think they're getting ready to bloom. They're so pretty with the yellow flowers, so I hope they do that. And here's an update on the birds. It's kind of gross. Their nest, they are not very tidy, but they are getting really big. I think before long they will be ready to leave the nest. And then I can change out <laughs> this plant right here. So a few things I want to get done in today's video. I want to put the solar lights back up here like they were. I also want to touch up the paint back here. I want to get the back porch all put back together. And this deck. So the first thing is touching up all of this stuff. It doesn't look bad, but it'll look better with a nice fresh paint of coat. It's just like kids rubbing their hands on it and so I think it'll look just really a lot more updated and it's really easy to just give it a fresh coat of paint.
Okay, everything looks so much better freshened up with the paint. And so I want to start putting the back porch back together, get all this stuff off. And in the last video, we stained this concrete to match the deck and I'm still really liking that, but it's gotten all dusty and dirty. So I want to just hose that off real quick, put the rug down, move the rocking chairs back and start having it function as a regular porch again. still need to add pillows and decor and all that, but this works for now. I'm wanting to get another rug for back here because this one's kind of on its last leg, but I haven't found anything yet that I like more than this one. And until I do, I'm just going to leave this one. But I need you guys help on deciding something. Leave a comment like what you think. Should I just have one hanging plant there in between there, or should I maybe put one on each of these posts, maybe some hanging flowers or something I think could be really pretty, but I do like being inside and seeing flowers hanging right there. So, or I guess I could do all three if I wanted. So let me know what you guys think. And now that the porch is all put back together, I want to put the solar lights back up around the like edge of the roof here. Okay, it's the next day. It is so hot. I've been cleaning all the stuff off of the deck here, but I've also added something. I've been keeping all of the stuff for the pool back here in these two barrels, and it's worked fine because I drilled holes in the bottom for them to drain. But with the dolphin that I got, I needed some more storage out here. So Patio Well sent over this deck box. And if you guys remember a few videos ago when I did the um, storage shed that they sent over, same company. And this, I got this deck box in black. It seems like really good quality. It was easy to put together and it's huge. Like this is a massive beach ball, not a regular size beach ball. So it should easily be able to store all the pool equipment and plus some toys and it won't look quite as messy as the buckets that I had back there. I should still have a discount code. I will leave that down in the description and also the link to this box if you guys want to go check it out. I want to put the deck box right here, but it's too big with this umbrella, which I've been wanting to move this anyway because in the afternoon the sun comes from this way and it just doesn't it doesn't block any sun it doesn't make any sense so i want to maybe move it over there so i'm going to take this up first and then we're going to be working on repainting this deck i was going to just do some touch-ups in a few spots but then i decided you know what like after looking at it i'm just going to give it all a fresh coat just a just a light coat to kind of refresh it and make it look new or as new as a I don't even know how old deck can look
Okay, this is the product that I'm using. I used before. It's by Sherwin Williams. It's called Super Deck and Deck and Dock Coating, and it's very, very thick. And it's made to get in like all of the cracks that you might see in a board. Like it's supposed to help fill those. It's supposed to be good for older wood. Also, the color is just called brown. This was definitely the right call because I think if I tried to touch it up, it would look spotty. I didn't realize how much the deck had faded. You can see over here versus the fresh coat, it looks a whole lot better. And it's going pretty quickly. If I had to just put a deck, a coat on the deck every summer, I would be okay with it, which would be a lot more cost effective than replacing this entire deck. So I was planning on just decorating out here, adding some flowers and then calling it a day, but I had an idea that I wanna do back here. It's gonna take a little bit of time that I'm excited about. So there's gonna be one more video back here for the backyard and make sure that you're subscribed because you don't wanna miss it. I think it's gonna make a big difference out here and I will see you guys for that video next week. Bye.